Mayor's Tate was not only the first black woman to graduate from Western State Teachers College, which later became WMU, but she left behind a legacy of accomplishments. So in 10th grade, as Sonia Hollins began researching, this is actually her high school graduating class in Blanchard. She never thought what started as an idea for a book would change her life and the lives of so many others. She traveled the world twice, spoke five languages, was a Fulbright scholar in India, and I'm thinking, why don't I know about this Michigan woman? When Murr's school burned down, she was named valedictorian in the 10th grade. And while other students were excited that school was over, she's like, no, I want to go into college. I need two more years of high school. So she moved to Battle Creek and worked as a maid. But for a black woman in the 1920s, going to college was far from easy. She was accepted to the University of Michigan. But when they found out she was African-American, they denied her admission. And Dr. Waldo, who was the president of Western Michigan University, found out about MERS because he knew her employer in Battle Creek. And that's when he got her scholarship to come here. She graduated in three years with a four-year degree, and became a history teacher at a high school in Indianapolis, where she started a travel club for students. At that time, when she graduated in 1927, they didn't allow African-American teachers to teach high school in Michigan. After teaching high school, she became the first African-American to graduate from Oxford and spent time traveling around Europe. She ends up going to a, a rally and there was a man speaking there and it was an all German. And when she finished leaving that rally, she said, I'm leaving Europe because this guy is going to really start some trouble here. And that was Adolf Hitler. Merz had a long list of degrees, including a master's from Columbia University. She was the first black woman to receive a PhD in political science from Harvard, taught at historically black colleges, published many books, and became a millionaire through her skills in investing, leaving some money to WMU. In 2008, Hollins was inspired to start a travel club. The Mercy State Explorers program provides an opportunity for girls to see the world, girls who particularly may not have had the financial means to do so. I went to Washington, D.C., Japan, um, I went to U of M. We stayed on the campus. Uh, we've been to Olivet College. Learning about the legacy of Merce Tate by seeing the world she spent her lifetime exploring. She's changed people's lives in the past and it's changed my life and I believe that she deserved more um, recognition for this. In Kalamazoo, Kyle Mitchell, News 8. And we are preparing a special broadcast that celebrates black history in West Michigan. Join us one week from tonight at 7 o'clock right here on Wood TV 8.